Hey guys, Ethel Jo here, and this has been kind of my anticipation of 2016. I have a couple books I can't wait to read this year, and this is one of them. I read the snippet of it, and I was teased. I'm like, oh, I have to wait months before it. And I first read it in um, Pink Shades of Words, Walk of 2016, and it's the Avon Breast Cancer Awareness book, which I think you guys should all purchase too because it's a great cause. So here's Filthy Rich, Kayla Blackstone, and Brooke Casterly. And Brooke is, I, I never, when you write women heroines, it's um, sometimes you're like, oh, sometimes they have the damsel in distress, and sometimes they just have so much baggage, or they're ever going to overcome it, and is their heart, you know, is it just something that they can do? Brooke was written to the point where I felt for her and just loved her passion, her her painful past brought her into this beautiful enigma. She is gorgeous inside and out. I mean, beautifully inside and out. Because she doesn't, she always looks at the good and never sees the bad. And she's had a painful past. And I don't want to give that painful past away because the book had me like, wow, this is so much. And I think that's why I read it, like literally within, I downloaded it and I sat down and I read the whole thing. Sorry, family. And she's not looking for love. She's determined to get over what she's happened to her and she's going to live her life and she's going to live it to the fullest and do what's right by her family, which is her nan. Her nan took her in when her parents were killed tragically. And, you know, that is explained. And it's just, she's just, I, I, I just love Brooke. Here's Caleb, Caleb Blackstone. He's filthy rich. He's a billionaire. He's the Blackstone dynasty. He is royalty in the Boston eyes. Um, Black, um, Caleb is beyond an alpha male because he's not, yes, he can be kind of dominant, but he's not because he loves wholeheartedly. He loves you mind, soul, and body. Like he loves you with everything he has and he's never been in love. And in, he sees Brooke at afar and he just has this connection and then he sees her again and he thinks it's fate and it, this fate keeps bringing them. And usually it's women that usually say the fate. This is Caleb saying that there's fate within them. And there's a, a quote that he had on his father's deathbed. Um, his dad said, when you find whatever makes you happy, Caleb, hold on to it with everything you've got. Your heart will let you know. And that saying is said throughout the book. And that saying is the book, in my opinion. This is if you love something that makes you happy, hold on to it. And Caleb makes Brooke happy because she doesn't care that he's rich. I mean, the the whole story is, um, what I liked about the story is when they're at Target and they're shopping and she's just grabbing things that she needs to stay over because she missed the ferry back to the island. And um, she's just grabbing simple items and she goes to check out, he's not with her, and she texts him, do you want me to get you a coffee at Starbucks? And for him, he was like, wow, she doesn't want me to pay for her things and she's offering to buy me a Starbucks. Usually that doesn't happen in his world. Usually people are asking him to pay for everything. And I think that's why I like it because she doesn't give that damsel in distress because she's just like, let me do this for you. Let me help you. Let me cook you dinner and let me be part of your life but she's not ready for that and as they he breaks down those walls of protect protection for her heart and her soul Caleb is healing her and they heal each other and I can't wait for more from the series um you meet his family you meet his twin brother he's not a twin but he has brothers that are twins and sisters that are twins and then his friend and you just kind of it's um, the supporting cast in this is also pretty amazing because um, they add character and depth to the story and I highly recommend this is beyond five stars for me because I've been waiting for it but just the way that it was written um, is pretty good and there is some humor but this romance in it is it's it's beautiful it's tender it's um, it's just there's so much to it and it's just um, yes it's New England high society and she's the Cinderella story but there's more to it and I think that's why I like it and Rain did a beautiful job can't wait for the next book um, I think it's early spring I read I kind of Facebook stalked her and then stalked her on Goodreads which you guys should follow her on Goodreads because she is amazing about answering answering questions so have a great weekend and talk to you guys later